your ideas, of course, your views via our various uh, platforms or via various comment platforms, of course. I remember you are following us through the social media platforms. Our fan page Facebook is Pure Africa TV, YouTube Pure Africa TV, Twitter at uh, Pure Africa TV. Of course, the hashtag is the breakfast uh, uh, show. You can drop your comment in real time. Of course, you'll be getting it. And some of your comments I'll be gathering, of course, getting to the third bit of the show. I'll be uh, uh, going through some of the comments, especially uh, considering the topic of discussion today being the third bit of the show. And of course, today, getting to the third bit of the show, I'll be getting your predictions about uh, the Azimio uh, running mate or the Azimio presidential running mate. Of course, today at exactly 11 a.m., ODM leader with the Azimio flag bearer uh, will be unveiling his uh, presidential running mate, of course. But uh, who do you feel is likely to settle on? Of course, that's um, a prediction that I'll poll, of course, uh, to know some of your opinions as far as uh, that uh, is concerned, as far as that is concerned. You may remember you can as well drop your comments via WhatsApp number, of course, the official WhatsApp number. Uh, the number is 0796840560. They will be getting your comments in the real time, of course. Uh, reading them in the real time, especially during the third uh, bit of the breakfast show. But now let's top news stories, of course, those that are given away today in the breakfast show. Later on, we'll get to the newspapers uh, to review them deeply. Of course, today there's much in the world of politics. Everything is uh, just uh, politics owing to the running mate, uh, uh, owing to the uh, running mate issues, of course, those that have risen, again, those that have seen on the rise again, not just for Kenya Kwanzaa, not just for Azimio, even uh, we have uh, other independent candidates, of course, uh, those are uh, uh, looking forward to be presidential uh, uh, opus, those that are um, uh, looking forward to the being on the ballot as uh, independent candidates, of course, for the presidential uh, positions. Remember today, all of them are to present uh, their running mates to the IEBC. And so today, there's a lot in politics. But now let's uh, look at some of the top uh, news stories that are covered. There's the suitable running mate, uh, Rigathi Gashagwa, finally picked as the suitable running mate uh, to deputize uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa flag, uh, presidential flag bearer, William. Uh, Samoy Ruto. Of course, uh, this we saw yesterday and follow this we saw unfolding yesterday, of course. And this came after um, 17 hours, of course, 17 hours of marathon meeting of inter uh, interrogation to get the best suitable uh, candidate for the DP. Remember that uh, particular or the choice of Rigadi came after 17 hours uh, of uh, the, the previous day, 17 hours. Uh, uh, the liberations on this and discussions on this and interrogations just to come up with the most uh, suitable uh, candidate. Of course, we also saw uh, different who had shown their interest in that uh, uh, particular position. Of course, unanimously uh, joining us or joining uh, Rigadi, of course, congratulating him for that, saying that is the most. Uh, uh, suitable for that. Of course, we saw Governor Anu Mumbi Waiguru, we saw Speaker Justin Muturi, uh, of course, we saw uh, even Musale Mudavadi, we saw Musale Mudavadi, we saw, uh, we saw William Kabogo, we saw Honorable William Kabogo, of course, the former uh, Kiambu Governor. At the same time, uh, we saw different, uh, different um, uh, leaders who had shown interest in that uh, political positions, of course, uh, congratulating Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa uh, for that. Of course, it's uh, this this are uh, decision that uh, saw reactions from different uh, uh, political uh, parties, or different political uh, groups. Groups at the, the same time, even from the publics who are allied to different uh, coalitions. Looking at those, uh, there is some of the reactions of the publics who are allied to Kenya Kwanzaa, of course. Uh, they said it was the wisest decision ever. Of course, some of them were um, really lauding DP for settling on uh, Rigadi Gashagwa. Remember, 
Uh, there was also reactions from the residents of Madeira where regarding uh, the uh is the MP of course uh, Madeira constituency where there are uh, regarding the is the sitting MP of course remember the later earlier on uh, they had uh, threatened they had threatened to quit as in uh, to quit Kenya Kwanza uh, would regarding the not be picked but finally we saw them uh, reacting positively uh, finally picked by the deputy president William Ruto to be his uh, running mate in the race and even uh, after that of course we saw so uh, took into some uh, positions necess necessary for Kenya Kwanza of course involving all parties uh, we saw deputy president of course uh, during that particular time also deliberating some leadership positions as far as various regions are concerned especially uh, to see that uh, they run their campaigns in the most uh, uh, suitable way of course looking at the Nyanza region looking at the uh, Rift Valley Northeastern and other regions across the country uh, entrusting some of the leaders with those regions to be in charge of them especially as far as uh, campaigns are uh, concerned of course we also saw other ca other candidates who had shown interest earlier so uh governor anamumbi waiguru we saw the william kabogo among others at the center of the uh, event which also featured a focus on economy of course uh, some of the dignitaries that were uh, getting the, the uh, getting to podium to speak of course uh, most of them were reiterating on the economy especially going uh, by one big agenda or one big driving force of the kenya kwanza uh, the economic uh, bottom economic uh, bottom up economic model and so uh, we saw majority focusing on the economy of course uh, and not just economy at the same time uh, focusing on women in leadership whereby we saw that 50 percent of the Kenya Kwanza leadership or Kenya Kwanza cabinet should they take the government uh, then 50 percent of the Kenya Kwanza uh, cabinet or uh, leadership will be given to the uh, women of course given to the women as we saw uh, them giving focus or giving a lot of focus in women leadership at the same time inclusivity and uh, public uh, benefit inclusivity and public uh, benefit saying that Kenya Kwanza is that which is uh, inclusive to all the political parties that are allied to that uh, uh, particular coalition especially as far as important matters are concerned not leaving out some and not uh, uh, just including some but uh, there's a mutual inclusivity there's inclusivity for all uh, the political parties that are aligned uh, to Kenya Kwanza the core principles of Kenya Kwanza or core, core principles uh, that are aligned to Kenya Kwanza saying that they bound to support Dr. William Ruto and his deputy now uh, regarding Ashagwa until the end of the race of course until ballot and even after ballot uh, should they succeed of course uh, they will participate actively in forming uh, the Kenya Kwanza government of course it's so other principles other core principles like uh, uh, the Machakos governor who lately joined the coalition of course also vowing to support uh, the Kenya Kwanza coalition up to the end of the time the same time so the distribution of the leadership of course providers as per the regions also Nyanza Eastern region among other regions the central region as well and so that was uh, during that uh, particular time when uh, uh, the unveiling of uh, Kenya Kwanza uh, running mate for the presidential uh, flag bearer was being done at the same time later we saw in Azimio Oka because uh, they were camping or they were you know camping campaign rallies at Kamukunji of course in Nairobi whereby citizens had anticipated that during that particular rally the ODM leader Raila Molodinga would uh, give 
how to rule publicly announced the name of his running mate but interestingly uh, he never did that but we saw him postponing it uh, to today of course to today at uh, exactly 11 o'clock in the a.m. whereby he is expected uh, to publicly announce who will be the running mate. Remember, there, is, there are a lot of individuals, or there are a lot of leaders who had showed interest uh, for that uh, political positions. Of course, those that had faced uh, the panel for the same. The Waiso Party leader, Kalonzo Musioka, uh, facing that uh, particular panel. Of course, we saw Mata Karua of uh, not Kenya, we saw former Gatanga member of parliament, uh, uh, Peter Kenneth, we saw Sabina Shege, Moranga, uh, woman representative. And at the same time, uh, we also saw earlier Sam Joe uh, facing the panel too. But remember, it is uh, now the ODM leader, Ayla Molodinga, to decide uh, the final fate uh, for that after the uh, the committee, of course, the running with the committee, the committee that was uh, tasked to the responsibility of deciding the most uh, three suitable candidates are uh, doing their work. Of course, we saw on Friday, uh, we saw uh, the chairperson for that particular committee or for that particular task force, and that is none other than Minoa Wekesa, uh, saying that they had decided on the three most suitable candidates in order of their priority and of course they presented the report uh, to the Azimiola Umoja One Kenya Coalition flag bearer that is Raila Molodinga who would in effect announce to the public uh, today according to uh, the statement that is said or according to his statement yesterday at uh, Kamukunji. Remember also today is the deadline for the presentation of the names of the running mates for both the presidential race and even for the gubernatorial race uh, of course uh, to the independent electoral and uh, boundaries commission and so today a lot is expected to unfold especially in the world uh, of uh, uh, politics a lot is expected to be to unfold in the world of politics uh, but yesterday again uh, during uh, the uh, azimio rally at kamukunji so odm leader raila molodinga emphasizing on the on free education of course uh, emphasizing on free education right from uh, primary level to the university level or even tertiary and college uh, level should as la umoja one kenya uh, take the government or should as la umoja uh, take uh, the government soon after the 9th august uh, elections of course also emphasize on juakali sector enhancing juakali sector to see that those that have gained skills uh, through the Juakali sector be also recognized and be also able to get some of the tenders, just like those uh, that uh, had received uh, or those that had uh, undergone the formal training or formal uh, training through the recognized institutions uh, to obtain their certificate. And so that would be an advantage. Uh, to those working in Juakali sectors, of course, those that have uh, gained experience through the work uh, or through work at uh, Juakali sector. Of course, we also saw others in Yola, Umoja, One Kenya Alliance leaders also pushing uh, for Aila to name the running mate. We, of course, we saw the uh, Sobas, Soba, Soba North uh, member of parliament, of course, that is uh, Emilio Diambo, also pushing. Uh, for Raila Moldinga to, to name the running method to announce publicly uh, there. But later on, we saw him, um, of course, postponing that until today. And so today, uh, Kenyans are looking forward to seeing or looking forward uh, to knowing who shall be settled on as the Azimula Moja One Kenya Coalition uh, presidential. Uh, running mate. We are getting to the third bit of this particular show. Of course, I'll be getting some of your opinions as far as that uh, is concerned. Who do you feel that ODM leader Raila Molodinga is likely uh, to settle on? Of course, it will be like an opinion poll on the same. Just gathering your comments, gathering your ideas, gathering your opinions as far as that is concerned, especially uh, during the third bit of the show. I'll be reading some of the comments as far 
uh, that that is concerning where you can drop your comments via our various comment platforms of course you follow me through our social media platforms our fan page facebook is pure africa tv youtube is pure africa tv of course twitter at uh, pure africa tv remember the hashtag uh, right now is the breakfast uh, show uh, you can as well tweet i'll be getting your tweets in time i'll be getting your comments in time uh, getting to the third bit third and the last bit of the show of course i'll be uh, go, going through the comment sections read some of the comments remember you can as well drop your comments via our whatsapp number of course our official whatsapp number zero seven nine six eight four zero five six zero uh there you will be good to go switching uh, gears to the next story of course you see as neo oka leaders react to ruto's decision on uh, regarding the shagwa as is running mate of course these were some of the reactions uh, yesterday after uh, the Kenya Kwanza decided or the Kenya Kwanza settled their running mate issues of course uh, settling on regarding the Shagwa as the most uh, suitable running mate uh, to deputize um, uh, Dr. William Ruto in the presidential race of course for the Kenya Kwanza uh, coalition but on the side on the this other side as Nyola Moja one Kenya coalition of course uh, we saw leaders and even members that are associated to that particular coalition uh, saying that it was a very a wrong choice and a wrong decision of course saying both the president and or, or both the presidential flag bearer for kenya kwanza that is uh, uh dr william ruto and his running mate uh, of course regarding the shago say they, they said that uh, the two have uh, records of graft the two have records of uh, corruption and so it was not the best uh, duo for that of course we saw the sona east mp junet mohammed also say, saying that as a neo la umoja is the best for the kenyan interest of course also urging the kenyans to embrace as a neo la umoja kenyans uh, to stand with odian leader raila amolo ginga of course uh, even as he will be unveiling the running mate for the as neo la umoja one kenya alliance one kenya alliance also we saw kenyans react to dp's root of choice of regarding a shag of course we see kalenjin elders also appreciating the move or appreciating the decision of the uh, william ruto uh, to settle on regarding a shag as his uh, running mate of course who will be the deputy president should the kenya kwanza uh, form the government after the your ninth general elections of course you saw uh, those uh, elders from the Eldoret of course uh, congratulating that move at the same time saying that it was the wisest uh, uh, decision as far as the Mount Kenya votes were concerned remember uh, the decision to pick a shagwa they're saying or they're perceiving it as that uh, we could see that Kenya Kwanza will get a lot of votes uh, from the Mount Kenya region and of course Mount Kenya, Mount Kenya region is that particular region that is treat uh, that is perceived to be having a lot of votes uh, such a vote rich uh, region and so according to these uh, elders of the, uh, the this uh, this Kalenjin elders from Eldoret they said that would be the best pick as far as uh, the votes from the central region and the Mount Kenya region are concerned at the same time we saw residents of madeira also reacting to that of course saying that uh, the shagwa is the most suitable candidate and uh, he is equal to the roles of being a deputy uh, president but remember earlier on residents of madeira constituency of course uh, those that are under um, uh, the territory or under uh, the territory of uh, on the board regarding the shagwa had threatened to quit uh, ruto's camp uh, would uh, regarding the shagwa not to be picked but later on uh, we saw them embracing uh, the decision that was made by deputy president uh, especially now that uh, regarding the shagwa uh, was settled on as the running mate uh, to deputize dr william ruto uh, should kenya kwanza take uh, or should kenya kwanza form the government soon after the general elections for 9th of august of course uh, this year of course they uh, also decided they, they also appreciate the move they appreciated the move and promised to work together of course to give their full support 
uh, to Honorable Jabi Rachagwa and as well give their full support to Kenya Kwanza uh, in the presidential uh, race. And moving forward to the next story, of course, uh, now we see Kalonzo threatens to get to court uh, for, his, uh, dis, uh, for his dismissal or for his removal uh, from the Azimio La Umoja, from the Azimio. Of course, he's saying that this decision would give him space to bear the flag for the uh, Wiper Party, to bear the flag for the Wiper Party ahead of the presidential race. Remember, Kalonzo Musioka has been pushing for has been pushing uh for being the presidential uh for the being the running mate for the presidential flag there of course Raila Molo Dinga not just him but at the same time uh, we've seen leaders that are uh, allied to the wiper party uh saying that Kalonzo is the most suitable of course also threatening that Kalonzo should Kalonzo not be settled on then they are likely to quit to quit as a meal uh, La Umoja, one Kenya coalition, but now we see a new move, of course, uh, according to the member of parliament for McQueen, of course, that is none other than, uh, that is honorable uh, Dan Manzo saying when mem members uh, of the White Party, of course, met and agreed that Kalonzo should quit at as a new La Umoja and be at the ballot as the, uh, as the presidential flag bearer for the wiper party leader of course this is uh also seeing reactions emerge from different sections especially in the from the uh political uh, parties various political parties also remember as in you remember wiper party is within the one kenya coalition that uh which is also formed by the kanu but uh, as we talk kanu is within as a meal and at the same time uh, we saw we see now wiper party leaders now threatening and of course uh saying that they are go getting to court today uh for the impeachment of the deal and of the impeachment of the of course the agreement that they had decided uh, to work together with as so there's a question as to whether uh, those other political parties that are aligned uh, to one Kenya will be quitting or just a wife. At the same time, there's a question as to whether uh, there will be enough time, especially going to the strict deadline of the IEDC. Remember, it is today getting to court, then later presenting the name as the flag bearer, then later mentioning the name of the running mate uh, for Kalonzo Musioka. So, of course, uh, those are some of the questions that uh, are emerging as far as this. Uh, particular decision is concerned. Of course, those that are aligned to wiper party uh, now say it is time uh, for their wiper party leader to be uh, the flag bearer or to be a presidential flag bearer on his own and of course get to name his running mate before the closure of the uh, before the end of the day of course according to the strict deadline that was given or uh, that was given by the Independent Electoral and the Boundaries uh, Commission. Of course, that, that was according to Member of Parliament for Makwani, Honorable Dan Manzo. But let's wait and see that uh, which will transpire. Of course, a lot are likely to transpire uh, today in the world of politics, especially the issues of running mate, especially for uh, as far as Azimio is concerned. At the same time, we see reactions still emerge uh, as far as the DP's choice on the Gabi Gachagua is uh, concerned. Uh, as far as the DP's choice on the Gabi Gachagua as his uh, running mate or as his deputy president should the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, form the government is concerned. And we're today getting to the third bit of it or the third bit of the breakfast. Shall be gathering your comments and your predictions as far as today's uh, as a meal or unveiling of uh, the running mate is concerned about today, the ODM lead as well as as a meal, La Umoja, one Kenya coalition flag bearer, Laila Molodinga, uh, will be publicly announcing the name of his running mate. So that's why that's uh, uh, what we are talking about, especially in the third bit of the shall be asking you, of course, uh, to share your predictions. Who do you feel that he is likely uh, to settle on? Remember, this is a position that. Uh, uh, attracted interest of many leaders, of course, those that are uh, aligned to uh, Azimio La Umoja, one Kenya coalition, of course, 
uh, we also saw them facing uh, the panel but according to you who do you feel uh, is the more is, is going to be picked of course by the ODM leader Rael Amolo Odinga remember as uh, remember different segments of population of dif different uh, uh, members of the public public have also been showing their interest uh, for various candidates of course there's also a, a section of women are now pushing that this position should be given uh, to a woman of course to be specific pushing for the next Kenya party leader Martha Karoa uh, saying that she is the most uh, suitable of course that was according to the section of those the women especially in Nairobi uh, and uh, the central Kenya uh, region to be uh, exact uh, sent of course those that are coming from the central region of the country or the Mount Kenya region but we're getting to the third bit of the show I'll be getting your comments of course your predictions on this it will be uh, more of an opinion call of course by the public to know who are you predicting or who do you feel is the is uh, likely to be picked as the as the Mio La Umoja One Kenya coalition uh, running mate of course that will be today at exactly 11 o'clock uh, uh, or 11 a.m. But remember, some of the events or some of the news and stories that are unfolding will be letting you know in the real time as they transpire. Of course, uh, uh, to, from the brief I show and even some from the subsequent shows that will be coming uh, later on. Meanwhile, continue staying with me. Remember, you can drop your comments uh, via our social media platforms. Of course, Facebook is Pure Africa TV, uh, YouTube, Pure Africa TV. Uh, you can as well drop your comment via WhatsApp number. The number is 0796840560. Uh, there I'll be getting your comment, getting your third and the last bit of the show. I'll be reading your comments now. Taking a very short break. Coming next, I will be getting to the newspaper uh, review. Continue staying with me. I'll be back with much more.
joining me in the in the breakfast show sorry and uh, now we are getting to the newspaper review of course we're beginning with the star newspaper looking at the front page of course uh, we see the 17 hour interviews that gave regardi a uh, deputy job remember uh, settling on regardi was uh, a product of nego negotiations for 17 hours of course uh, examining all other candidates that uh, had shown interest for that uh, particular position of course interrogating them just to come up with the most uh, uh, suitable candidate to deputize uh, William Ruto especially as far as the Kenya Kwanzaa government is form is concerned should it take uh, uh, should it form the next uh, government and so uh, settling on Rigadi was after uh, thorough negotiations of course a thorough uh, a thorough interrogation uh, just to settle on the most suitable candidate of course that's according uh, to it of course there was a lot of horse trading and intense negotiations uh, that uh, led uh, to that there's a story that is captured of course in the uh, a story that is captured on the front page of the star uh, newspaper and of course we saw uh, reactions of course those that had also shown interest also backing up uh, regarding uh, of course promising uh, to promise uh, promising to stand with them and deputy president william ruto as their presidential flag bearer especially for the kenya kwanza coalition until uh, the end At the same time we see no show for kalonzo at uh, raila's kamukunji rally because uh, yesterday we saw those leaders that are allied to one Ken uh, or uh, that those that are allied to as new la umoja one kenya coalition gathering at kamukunji of course uh, as they as the public expected that uh, raila will unveil or will remain publicly is running mate but uh, for kalonzo musioka of course the white party leader he never show up for that no show for kalonzo at raila's kamukunji rally of course this is a story uh, that is also captured and of course this could be related to uh, some of the reactions of course by those that are aligned to the wiper party leader of late you've seen uh, the reactions especially from those leaders aligned to wiper party saying that uh, uh, of course uh, proposing that uh, now it's time that uh, the wiper party leader also to be a flag bearer or a presidential flag bearer on his own uh, rather than um, being in as la umoja and of course they are uh, threatened to get to court today and it's a matter of time we'll get to know the court proceedings as far as that will be concerned of course white party leader kalonzo musioka was a no-show at the azimio la umoja one kenya alliance rally at uh, kamukunj of course that uh, was uh, yesterday the rally was attended by leaders allied to the coalition including various aspirants for various city positions from what's up to the top county of course also looking at those uh, um those that had shown interest for the position of the running mate for the azimio la umoja one kenya uh, presidential flag bearer almost all the uh, almost all these candidates showed up there of course for the kamukunji meeting there we saw mata karua we saw peter peter kenneth we saw uh, sabina shege among many others but uh, kalonzo was never there and so that uh, is a, a move that has a, is, uh, that has attracted uh, various uh, reactions and of course uh, different opinions from uh, various uh, members of the public and even from the political class and so as far as uh, the decision is also concerned and so there are questions as to whether kalonzo is quitting or as uh, uh, finally left but of course according to uh, the statements on uh, honorable dan mango of course uh, said that uh, they are moving to court to protest and to see uh, that kalonzo leaves at azimio and be a presidential flag bearer on his uh, own of course we see the ra the his uh, absence spoke uh, loudly as the rally ended without a mention of the wiper uh, party leader of course we saw earlier on Kanu chairman Gideon Moy had shared photos of himself in a meeting with the Kalonzo uh, but did not reveal much about uh, the meeting of course uh, that's uh, which is also 
seen uh, various reactions emerge uh, from the po political class and even from the political parties, those uh, that are allied to Azimio la Umoja One Kenya coalition, Azimio la Umoja One Kenya coalition, especially also considering that today is that particular day that when the name of the running mate uh, to the Azimio la Umoja One Kenya coalition flag bearer shall be made or shall be announced uh, uh, publicly. Aside from that particular story, of course, we see what network other Kenya Kwanzaa are running mate hopefuls. Uh, that's a question that, uh, that's a big question uh, that is asked. What is now next for other Kenya Kwanzaa uh, running mate hopefuls? Those that have shown their interest, uh, those that have shown in their interest for being DP's running mate. Now, what is next for them? What is next for them? Uh, now that uh, Deputy President has settled on uh, Honorable Rigadi Gashago, of course, the Member of Parliament for Madeira constituency. Of course, we see Deputy President William Ruto named Madeira MP Rigadi Gashago as his uh, running mate in August 9 general elections. Uh, of course, this, uh, this followed um, months of speculations on who would possibly uh, deputize him in his quest to become the fifth uh, President of the Republic of Kenya. Of course, we see before the ultimate unveiling of the running mate, other individuals had, uh, had been highly mentioned to be uh, gunning, uh, by, by, to be ruled as number two, but of course, uh, looking at those, they include NC leader Musalia Mudavadi Kirinyaga and Ga Kirinyaga governor and Mumbi Waiguru, of course, National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi, regarding the Shawan Tarakaniti, Senator Kithore Kindiki, of course, those that had shown their interest for that. Of course, so yesterday, DP really, uh, of course, uh, congratulating these other, these other uh, candidates who had shown their interest for the same uh, position, of course, uh, saying that uh, they'll work uh, together then uh, after forming the government. Of course, we see Professor Kithure Kindiki was the second most favorite person uh, to deputize the Ruto will possibly have to settle for a cabinet slot or the leadership of the House of the Parliament. Of course, the Tarakaniti Senator had declared interest for the country's gubernatorial seat, uh, but the Deputy President insisted that he wanted him to work with him together, and that a uh, move that made uh, uh, Professor Kithure Kindiki, of course, uh, uh, reject his uh, earlier interest of uh, uh, being uh, the gubernatorial hopeful for the Tarakaniti uh, County. Aside from that, that story, of course, the next story, uh, now we see the DP's pick will hardly bring in any new support. Of course, these are some of the opinions that are coming up from the political analysts, of course, uh, some from those uh, um, from the political analysts, of course, giving their ideas. Remember, uh, the choice of the running mate is also likely to, the choice of the running mate is also perceived to be a major factor contributing to uh, the reception of more votes or to the attraction of votes. Running mate and attraction of votes are, are considered to be, uh, that which is to, of course, considered to be one in one. Uh, the choice of the running mate, especially as far as the region is concerned, as far as the popularity of that uh, particular uh, running mate is concerned, is likely to attract more votes. Or at the same time, is likely to fail to attract some of the votes. Of course, uh, looking at some of the po the looking at some of the uh, political analysts right now, saying that Ruto's choice on regard to Shagwa is likely to attract more votes from the Mount Kenya region. Uh, but at the same time, others are saying that uh, it's not likely to attract uh, more votes, but look at the, the look at the predictions, of course, look at the reactions uh, from those uh, members of the, from those members of the Kenya Kwanzaa coalitions, especially from the Eldoret County, uh, saying that uh, this would be a right choice because it is likely to attract uh, uh, more votes, especially from the Mount Kenya region, uh, where Rigadi Gashagwa comes, uh, uh, where Rigadi Gashagwa comes from. Uh, 
Uh, moving forward to the next story, of course, we see Kalonzo wide the card that could throw Raila off balance. Another story that is also given coverage, Kalonzo wide the card that could throw Raila off balance. Remember the absence of Kalonzo at uh, Kamukundi yesterday is that uh, which uh, has seen various reactions, of course, as to uh, many who are asking why Kalonzo never attended that particular meeting despite that despite the, the fact that he had also shared, uh, he had also uh, shown his uh, interest to deputize the ODM leader, Raila Molodinga, of course, in the race ahead of the 9th August general election. We see why the party leader, Kalonzo Musioka, has thrown the Azimio Brigade into confusion amid the reports that he plans to ditch the coalition if Raila Odinga fails to name him as uh, the running mate of course where Raila will officially name his uh, second in command today at Kenyatta International Conference exactly at uh, 11 a.m. of course that's according to the statement that uh, was given by ODM leader Raila Moludinga of course uh, yesterday but uh, of course it's so, so saying that uh, Raila had uh, settled on NAC Kenya leader Mata Karua and setting the wipe up team uh, that uh, has uh, insisted it's earlier uh, either Kalonzo Musiaka on the ballot. Of course, those are some of the predictions, those are some of the uh, views of various political analysts, of course, uh, those uh, that are trying to make their opinions, of course, some of the opinion of the football. Uh, we see most of them uh, support Bata uh, Karor, uh, most of them are geared to Mata Karo, but remember the entire case is to be decide, decided today, of course, by the ODM leader as well as the Azimio La Moja One Kenya uh, coalition flag bearer. That is uh, none other than Raila Amolo Odinga at the Kenyatta International Convention, because that which is uh, eagerly waited for, that which is highly anticipated uh, by the Kenyan citizens, by those that are aligned to Azimio even by those that are allied to other uh, to other political political parties of course uh, of course uh, reactions are likely to emerge even soon after uh, ODM leader Raila Molodinga would publicly announce the name of his uh, running mate of course later will take the name or will present the name uh, to the independent electoral and boundaries commission remember today is the deadline uh, for that uh, particular uh, presentation, that particular presentation. Moving forward to the next story, of course, we see Congress for Gachagua uh, could hide bitterness, of course, naming him deputy uh, could be seen as uh, conferring cover that Mount Kenya uh, kingpin. Of course, uh, uh, there's a move that also saw uh, those uh, residents or the residents of uh, Madeira constituency where uh Gatagua is the Gachagua is the MP of course we saw Madeira residents now appreciate the move by the deputy president William Ruto to settle on Gachagua of course and uh, uh, and, uh, and of course forgetting their earlier earlier protests or earlier um, uh, sentiments of uh, you know quitting at uh, the DP's camp or quitting uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa should Madeira uh, should uh, regard the are not be settled on and so settling on the Gadi uh, is that which has been really uh, which has been positively uh, received of course positively reacted to by those uh, that are allied to Kenya Kwanzaa especially uh, members of the Mount Kenya region that those that are allied uh, to Kenya Kwanzaa coalition of course that's uh, those uh, are some of the stories that were captured on the political section but i'm taking a very short day coming later uh, we are getting to the business uh, section meanwhile you can uh, continue drop your comment dropping your comments of course uh, via our official whatsapp number 0796840560 at the same time uh, you can uh, drop your comments via our various comment sections of course you following uh, via the social media platforms of course our facebook is uh, pure africa tv you can as well drop your comment there i'll be able to get it in the real time getting to the third and the last bit of the show because i'll be reading some of the comments as we will be coming to the end meanwhile I'll continue staying with me i'm taking a very short day i uh, do not uh,
don't forget to join me or uh, do not miss to join me then after a very short break as I come uh, to the business section. <music> Welcome back as we get to the business section. Of course, uh, looking at a story that is given the top coverage under this section, we see African states uh, now are to insecure citizens against a disaster, a disaster risk. Uh, remember, um, uh, remember the risk of disaster is that uh, which has been very, uh, the, which has been um, very evident in uh, African, in other parts of the Africa of Africa, of course then in Kenya as, as we talk about those uh, particular regions the, those particular counties uh, that are really facing uh, various disasters to uh, various uh, disasters and so we see African states now hard to ensure uh, citizens against uh, uh, disaster risk of course the African risk capacity also known as ARC has called uh, on African governments to ensure their citizens uh, from natural disasters to avoid the need of uh, dashing for aid uh, from the western uh, countries of course this could be a good move as uh, uh, african uh, african countries would uh, get uh, to you know catch up with such uh, situations especially when uh, disaster strikes other than moving to other western countries uh, to seek for help or to seek uh, for assistance of course the agency created by the african union to help countries build disaster management capacities and interventions say that most of african countries lack robust insurance uh, from disaster and when it strikes uh, they end up having a lot of borrowings especially 
uh, in an effort to try to seek uh, assistance uh, from other Western countries. That's that story uh, that, of course, is captured under the business uh, section. At the same time, we see ministry is taking stock of the maize available uh, to advise other quantity that is currently needed uh, to be imported. To be imported, of course, we now see farmers uh, react uh, as farmers react. Uh, reactors they are being told to sell maize uh, that uh, may be hoarding before imports get into the country and uh, fluctuate the maize prices of course uh, the fluctuation of the prices currently look at the prices realize that they have uh, uh, really increased or the prices have really increased of course that uh, which uh, was also reacted to uh, by by, 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 by the millers at the same time uh, those that are uh, of course the manufacturers of the animal feed saying that the rise in the prices of maize has really affected this, uh, such uh, sectors or such uh, industries but we see the government will now allow the importation of maize once an assessment of the current maize stocks is complete of course agriculture cabinet secretary as uh, Peter Monia has uh, said, of course, Monia has said uh, that the ministry is doing assessment of the maize uh, that is currently available in the country and that uh, this will guide the quantity that is needed uh, for the importation. Of course, this will be uh, the, the, this is a move that will uh, avoid importation when uh, some stock or when there's a match in the stock, of course, uh, trying to import when the stock has significantly reduced that uh, which will ensure that importation is done at the right time when the stock has uh, really uh, reduced. At the same time, uh, on the same, same section, of course, the business uh, section stories that are given coverage, you see now state, uh, state wants power investors to show goodwill in tariff talks. Of course, that's also uh, captured at the same time we see corporates and the startups to link in the UK led initiative of course this is a story uh, that is uh, captured under that uh, uh, particular section then the bit of mask uh, of course says uh, 44 US uh, 44 US dollars a Twitter deal on hold of a fake account data because this uh, Another interesting story that is given uh, coverage under the business uh, section. Of course, we see uh, we see Elon Musk tweeted on Friday that uh, uh, 44 US uh, dollars, of course, billion cash deal on for Twitter uh, was uh, temporarily on hold because uh, while he, wa he waits for the social media company to provide the data on the proportion of the fake accounts of course saying that there are several uh, fake uh, twitter accounts of course that is which is likely uh, to see the level of insecurity of the accounts uh, rise of course twitter shares initially fell more than 20 percent in uh, per market trading but after mass the chief executive electric uh, car market, of course, tells her in said uh, that the second tweet uh, saying he remained committed to the deal, they had regained some ground or some time later. Of course, uh, those are some of the stories that uh, are given coverage under the uh, business uh, section and the business section. But today, you realize that there's only a lot in, uh, the, in, the, in, the, in the politics section, of course. And uh, finally, Kenyans import more than, or Kenyans, Kenyans import uh, more vehicles in 2021 as registrations jump 14%. Uh, percent. Of course, it's a story uh, that is captured uh, there. Remember, uh, you can as well drop your comments and then as we continue the show. Uh, but soon we are getting to the third bit of the show. And today, to getting to the third bit of the show, of course, I'll be... Uh, gathering your predictions as far as the running mate for the Azimio La Omoja, uh, one Kenya is concerned. Remember today is that uh, particular day that ODM leader Raila Muludinga, of course, uh, just some hours uh, from now because it's expected 
uh, to uh, publicly announce his running mate exactly at 11 a.m. And so today I'm gathering some of your comments, especially as, that, as far as that is concerned, uh, just to share your predictions. Who do you feel uh, ODM leader Ayla Moluvinga is likely to settle on even as he will be unveiling the uh, the, 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 the Azimio La Umoja presidential running mate, Azimio La Umoja uh, presidential flag bearers running mate. Who do you feel or who is your predict? Who do you predict uh, that ODM leader Alamolo Binga is likely uh, to settle on? Remember some of your comments uh, and predictions. I'll be uh, looking at them uh, when we get to the third and the last bit of the show. Meanwhile, uh, let's re switch focus, let's switch gears and look at the county section. Uh, to see some of the stories of course that are given coverage uh, from the county level of course from the county uh, level sub county level of course even from the local uh, level remember pure africa tv is the destination of your destination of your choice for both local and international content so during the county section or in the county section we are likely to interact with those uh, that are transferring or those that are unfolding uh, from the county level from the county level looking at the looking at it of course you see uh, boat ambulance to deal to deliver health services to remote islands of course that is also uh, that's a story that uh, is uh, uh, captured under the county section of course uh, we see a boat ambulance which has a uh, delivery facilities of course uh, for expectant woman has been uh, launched in Lamu County. So Lamu County is featured at the top, of course. It will cut the time it takes to travel uh, from Lamu East to King, uh, uh, to King uh, Fad by boat, of course, from three hours uh, to just uh, 30 minutes. Of course, that will be an advantage to the residents of the Lamu County. Of course, the ambulance was launched by the county government of Lamu in collaboration with the Safaricom uh, Foundation. Of course, that would be a uh, uh, reliable and a very fast, uh, a faster means of, uh, transport, of uh, transportation as compared to those that have been in existent before. Moving forward to the next story, of course, we see MPs now want vastly causes aligned uh, with the market needs to joblessness. MPs want vast causes aligned with the market uh, needs to end joblessness. Uh, vast, uh, of course, the issue of uh, causes vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis to the job market is that which has seen uh, different reactions, of course, from this, uh, from emerging from different uh, uh, people, of course, from the learners at the same time. And of course, also going by the choice of uh, choice of causes especially as far as the job market is also concerned now we see mps now react on that they want varsity courses aligned with the market uh, needs to end joblessness of course the issue of joblessness is that which has been very controversial of course very evident as far as we realize that there are a lot of youths of course those that have completed their studies those have that uh, have pursued various causes, of course, uh, but later on rendered joblessness. Maybe it could be because of some of the, uh, maybe because of the uh, bigger number of uh, graduates, of course, in the job uh, market, and a bigger, bigger number of the graduates in the job market, and at the same time, uh, flooding of the job market as a, uh, uh, as a possible result for that. But we see now MPs have asked the Commission uh, for University Education to work uh, more with the professional bodies to align university courses to market, uh, or to market and need to avoid graduates being uh, stranded while looking uh, for jobs. Of course, that uh, which has been very uh, eminent, that which has been very very, 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 which has uh, been in existence uh, for a long, for a long number, for a quite a good number of time. Of course, you see the National Assembly's Education Committee on Friday held a meeting with the Education Ministry and public and private universities to discuss inputs into the universities. Of course, the amendment bill 
of 2021 uh, to smoothen progression of students uh, from the university level uh, to when they join the workplace. Of course, these are moves that is perceived uh, to that, that is perceived uh, to reduce the uh, to reduce to reduce the number of tarmacking, especially for jobs after the graduates are out of school and are getting uh, to the job market. There's a story that is also captured under the county section, of course, uh, concerning the higher number of graduates, those that are uh, uh, tarmacking in, in, in uh, search of jobs, especially uh, going by the current situation, going by the, the flag, uh, going by the current situation especially realize that the job markets are uh, filled up, job places are filled up. Meanwhile, there's a bigger number of university graduates, or a bigger number of university uh, graduates are getting to the job market uh, each and every year. Meanwhile, the facilities, uh, work places are filled up. So it's a question uh, of uh, the choice of choice of causes of course streamlining some of the causes just to ensure that the frustration in search of job uh, be reduced a bit especially after the graduates are out in search in search of job the same time we see police had suspect in murder of college girl 19 years in kiambu county of course this is a story also a sad story uh, that is also captured. You see police are now looking for a man only identified as VBJ Alex, of course, the main suspect behind the murder of a 19-year-old girl whose body was discovered on Saturday, of course, in uh, Bururia, Bururia Estate in Kirigit in Kiambu County, of course, uh, Purity Wangeshi, Kirenga's body at uh, that uh, uh, the visible stab wounds and uh, strangulations, of course, marks that found the dump uh, by the roadside at around 6 a.m. I pass away, pa pass by, we immediately notified the Kiambu detectives, of course. And uh, now we see the detectives and uh, we, we see police uh, lobbying investigation and to catch up with, uh, with the, the suspect of course, the murder suspect. These are some of the stories, of course, that are uh, given coverage under the county section, of course, the top stories uh, that were given coverage under the county section. But soon we are get, getting to the third and the last bit of the show. But remember, uh, getting to the last and the third bit of the show, I'll be gathering some of your comments, some of your opinions, especially uh, concerning the subject of uh, study or concerning the subject of discussion uh, that we are talking about today and of course uh, today are, i'm just trying to gather your comments your opinions your ideas concerning uh, the azimio la umoja one kenya uh, coalition a running mate uh, that is likely to be unveiled today of course who do you feel uh audm leader Raila Odinga is likely uh, to settle on. Of course, we've seen um, polls going by, we've seen uh, opinion polls moving by or going by, we've seen uh, analysis, of course, by various political analysts, various political observers also giving their analysis. At the same time, we've seen uh, different um, uh, different members of the public, of course, from various regions and also from various political classes were opposing uh, some of the names of the best uh, candidates as far as the analysis are concerned. But you, who do you feel is likely to be picked then as the ODM leader will be picking, picking the most suitable candidate uh, today. I'm taking a very short break later, I'll be, be getting to the third and the last bit of the show. Continue staying with me. <coughs>
last and the third and the last bit of this particular show called the breakfast show live from pure africa tv now i'm about to go through the comment section of course our, of our various from our various comment platforms uh, to look at some of the reactions of course uh, considering the topic of study today or considering the topic of discussion today and of course uh, today it has it, uh, been uh, uh, getting your comments of course uh, your opinions your viewpoints especially concerning the subject of the running mates especially for the as a new la umoja one kenya uh, coalition so of course today you are to pre give some of the predictions of course who you feel is uh, likely to be picked by odm leader Ayla Moloding. of course uh, going by the comment section i see sarah kiru is saying that uh, karoa is likely to be picked the same time i see wanjala of course saying that peter kenneth and uh, moving to the next uh, section of course florence was also saying uh, that uh, kalonzo musioka is likely to be picked remember this uh, this is an exercise that uh, is likely to be done exactly at 11 o'clock in the a.m of course uh, by the odm leader Ayla Moludinga will finally decide uh, the fate uh, for that of course it has been that which has been highly anticipated for uh, by the citizens of course by members of the azimio la umoja one kenya coalition at the same time by those that uh, are um, aligned to various uh, to political parties of course that are within azimio and even to the publics uh, generally of course we expect that a lot of reactions will uh, come up uh, even soon after unveiling of the azimio la umoja one kenya co coalition running mate just like uh, we saw in Kenya Kwanzaa yesterday, soon after DP had settled on Rigadi uh, Gashagwa. At the same time, uh, the the same time, we see uh, members of White Party now have decided that they are getting to court, of course, uh, to challenge the agreement or uh, rather to uh, dismiss the agreement that they had made. Uh, to be in Azimio La Umoja or to be in Azimio Oka coalition, of course, uh, to give room for Mwaipa party leader Kalonzo Musioka, of course, uh, to be at the ballot as the presidential flag bearer for the Mwaipa party. Uh, it's, of course, these are some of the stories that are developing, and of course, uh, they a lot are expected to be, um, a lot are expected to unfold. Uh, during the day do not forget to join me tomorrow of course as i will be, be getting back here with uh, much more join me tomorrow exactly at seven o'clock in the breakfast show of course uh thank you very much for staying with me since we began the first bit second bit and even the third bit thank you for your participation uh to make it a breakfast show my name is evan so glad to join me tomorrow again at exactly uh seven o'clock in the morning thank you have a nice day and of course remember to stay safe always.